Today, I'm going to show you some of the best deals in the Pokemon card market. Finding the right time to buy Pokemon cards can be tricky, so it's my job to help you find the best opportunities. I've already done the hard work in identifying the absolute best cards to buy right now. So if you're looking to invest in some Pokemon cards or just looking to fill some gaps in your collection, you're not going to want to miss this episode of Buy It Before I Do. All right, so in today's episode, we're going to have some Japanese cards and some English cards here. So we're going to take a look at a few Japanese cards to get started. The first card on the list is going to be the Radiant Charizard from V-Star Universe. This card you can still pick up for around 5 or $6 on eBay. This one, as well as the English version, are still pretty undervalued here. However, with the Japanese version, you have a higher likelihood of being able to grade this card to get like a PSA 10 or CGC 10. This card, I know personally, I'm still buying a lot of just because it is so cheap and you can still get these relatively easily. And these cards are still really good to grade. So we're actually going to take a look at some eBay comps of some graded cards as well. So as you can see here, that card in the PSA 10 still going for around 40 to 50 dollars on eBay and it's just super easy to get a PSA 10 on these cards in Japanese. This card just has so many things going for it. I mean it's a shiny Charizard. It's still super affordable. It's a great looking card as well. So I think this card is going to do really well over time. So if you've seen our last couple of videos you already know we got to throw the Lugia Rainbow Rare V-Star on the list today. This card you can currently pick up for around 20 dollars but if you're able to find maybe an eBay seller that's willing to sell you these in bulk we've actually been able to get these for around 17 as of recently. To get this card for 20 dollars or less is just an absolute steal here and also as we've gone over in the past Japanese rainbow rares tend to grade extremely well. I'll give you a quick little spoiler from our last video. We actually got five of these back in our last return and all five of them got a PSA 10. And each card here in a PSA 10 is worth around $75. So this is just an absolute great deal here. And honestly, just for reference, the English version is actually going for a pretty good deal as well. It seems it topped out around $40 as it recently, but now it's down to around $32 to $35. So either one of these is a great deal, but I would actually prefer going with the Japanese one just because it's going to be a little bit easier to grade and it's even cheaper. And one last thing here, I think it's really important to look at similar cards from the past and how they've performed over time. For example, the Lugia GX Rainbow Rare has always been a super fan favorite card and has been a very, very expensive card. I honestly think the Lugia V-Star looks just as good as this. And with the collectability of Lugia, this card definitely has the potential to do something just like this Lugia GX here. Real quick, we're going to be giving away our brand new Ultimate Collector Box to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is like this video, subscribe to our channel with notifications on, and comment down below a card that you think is undervalued. Also, if you want to help support the channel so we can continue to make awesome content like this, you can always check out pokecollect.com. Any purchases on our website directly help support the channel and our store. Plus, you can always find really good deals on anything Pokemon card related. All right, back to the video. All right, and here's one you may not even know even exists. This one is a Japanese exclusive promo. This is an Arceus Dialga Palkia GX from the GX Reboot campaign. This one's actually kind of wild because just recently I was buying this card for six or seven dollars, but now on eBay, it's actually tough to find it below 12. However, with how crazy tag teams are going right now, I think this card is absolutely still worth picking up because there's so few of these compared to the original version. Plus the Japanese stamp cards just always do well over time. So if you're still able to pick this card up for anywhere around $12 to $15, it's absolutely a really good deal. All right, since we're talking about tag teams here, we cannot ignore the Moltres Zapdos Articuno Tag Team GX. This is one of the best looking tag teams of all time, in my opinion. You can still get the Japanese version for around $3 on eBay all day long. If you missed our episode where I bought a $6,000 collection from Japan, I was actually able to pick these up for $1.50 each because I bought around 50 of them. So if you want to buy a lot of this card, definitely message this eBay seller and see if they're willing to go down on price if you're able to buy a lot of them. It makes a lot more sense for them to send you a lot of this card than to send it out individually to a bunch of different buyers. Again, with the tag team craze that's going on right now, if you're able to get this card for $3 or less, get them all day long. So in English, we actually got this card in Hidden Fates. This card was actually printed quite a lot, but it's still going for over $7 right now. As you can see on the year graph here, it's actually risen quite a bit. A year ago, this card was around $5 and now it's creeping up over seven, even eight or $9. So I think the Japanese counterpart is significantly undervalued. But this next one is a bit of a hidden gem because I really don't understand why it's so much less than the English version. You can currently pick up the Blastoise GX Rainbow Rare for around $20. I know recently I've been able to get this card for even as low as $15. Even though this card is older, Japanese Rainbow Rares just have superior quality control. So if you're able to pick up a clean copy of this card, it should be really easy to grade. So we're actually going to take a look at the English version just to show you how much cheaper this Japanese version is compared to that one. All right, so the Blastoise GX Rainbow Rare in English actually came from Unbroken Bonds. This card has kind of always been a fan favorite in English, and it shows here with the price. This card is currently going for well over $70. It's actually kind of tough to get a near mint copy for even $80. So if you're able to pick up the Japanese version for around 25% of the English counterpart, I think that's a great deal. Definitely try to find this card if you can. If you watch any of the other episodes of Buy It Before I Do, you already know that I personally think there's a lot of undervalued celebrations cards. Potentially the most undervalued cards in the entire set are going to be the Blastoise and Venusaur. We actually talked about these two particular cards in our What Cards to Grade episode, because these two cards in particular actually have a really good grading multiplier as well. So not only are they really cheap and undervalued, if you're able to grade these for a PSA 10, you get a significant return 
on the card. So this card has been declining for the past three months from around $8 all the way to under six now. So I really think it's in a good price point to pick this one up. So before we take a look at eBay on the PSA 10 versions of this card, I just wanted to show you the Venusaur card real quick as well. Again, it's got a pretty good decline over the past three months, but I think just overall long-term, this card is just significantly undervalued, just like the Blastoise. All right, let's take a look at eBay. So here you go. PSA 10 versions of either one of these cards are going from anywhere from $50 to $80. So if you are lucky enough to get a PSA 10 on either one of these, you have a significant return on your card. But either way, picking up these cards for under $6 is just an absolute steal. Okay, and this might be the most important part of today's episode. We're going to talk about Shining Legends. Shining Legends was an extremely popular set and has some really, really cool cards. It's got the Test Tube Mewtwo, a bunch of different Shining Legendary Pokemon, and overall just a really, really sought after set. Recently, we've seen a pretty significant decline just across the board for Shining Legends cards. Anytime you see older sought after sets like this decline in value, it tends to be a really good sign that you should probably pick some of these up. For example, this Shining Rayquaza in the past has been well over $70. You can currently pick up this card for around $35, maybe even as low as $30. These cards are just absolutely gorgeous if you've seen them in person. They have really nice texture on the Pokemon. So I'm also going to point out a couple more Shining Legends Pokemon cards here because I really think there's just a ton of great deals right now. So again, here's another fan favorite Pokemon. I really just don't understand why these cards are declining. This was the only other time aside from the Neo era that they actually used the word Shining for a Pokemon card. So that alone is really cool and there's really not a lot of these cards out there anymore. We rarely ever get cards like this traded in, especially in near mint condition. Currently you can get this Arceus card for under $14. That's absurd. All right, let's take a look at another one. Again, you could probably go with any of the Shining cards from Shining Legends, but I think we got to talk about the Shining Mew here just because it's a super fan favorite Shiny Pokemon just in general. Everyone loves the blue Mew here. Mew has had some really cool Shiny cards in the past. The market price on this one is a little bit off. You're actually going to pay around $40 for a near mint copy of this, but even at $40, this card is significantly undervalued. It's got so much potential. So as I mentioned before, the only other set really to do the textured Shining Pokemon like this was Neo Destiny. Neo Destiny had the Shining Charizard, the Steelix, the Tyranitar. It has the Shining Mewtwo, the Shining Raichu. They're all ridiculously expensive and hard to get. Now, of course, this set is much older, but I still think because Shining Legends was the only other set to do it like this has a lot of potential. There were two Shining Pokemon in Neo Revelation, but they were not textured. Now, we do know that Pokemon is coming out with another Shining set, so it would be really cool to see Pokemon bring back the actual Shining Pokemon. We'll just have to wait and see. So next up on the list is going to be the Reshiram and Charizard Gold Card. This card originally came out in Japanese and Tag Team GX All-Stars. These gold cards were the absolute chase cards in the entire set. They're still incredibly expensive and really hard to pull. For the longest time, we actually didn't think we were going to get these in English at all. But for some reason, Pokemon put these in like a GameStop exclusive box, which is cool, but there's actually a lot less of these out there than you might realize. So to get the English version of that exact card for under $10 is just crazy to me. There really hasn't been a whole lot of prize movement on this card as of lately, but again, with the tag team craze that's going on right now, I expect to see this one rise pretty soon. And of course, we got to include the Pikachu Zekrom as well. This was actually the only other one that we got in English, which is really disappointing. It is a great card, but they made so many other cool tag team gold cards and tag team GX All-Stars. They had the Mewtwo and Mew GX. They had the Moltres Zapdos Articuno GX and a gold card and a bunch of other fan favorite tag teams. So this one actually has seen a pretty good price decrease over the past year. This card was going for around $10 and now you can get it for under four. I think these cards are probably being overlooked right now, but this card is a really great looking card. It's Pikachu and Zekrom. I mean, come on, for under four dollars, you got to pick this one up. All right, and last on our list, but certainly not least, is going to be the Charizard Team Up Stamped Promo. So this one I find very interesting because it's actually the cheapest Charizard pre-release promo there is. You can pick this one up for around $35, which is actually way less than even the Vivid Voltage one. With everyone going back to tag teams right now, especially Team Up, this card has so much potential to rise in the future with how rare it is. Plus, I think this card just looks really, really good. So if you're able to find a clean copy of this card, definitely grab this one. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching all the way into the end. Hopefully you found this information useful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I upload new episodes of Buy It Before I do every Sunday at 1 p.m. Central. All right, and with that, we'll see you next time.